Mitchell. Now, when I initially saw the end credit promo for tonight's finale, I thought Hayden was in the car, you know, upset and crying because he had just found out about, you know, Tamara and Gary's affair by going through Tamara's phone. But a couple of comments actually said, hey, Jeremy, what if it's at the law firm? Because we really can't tell that well. But if you look at the kind of a uh, background aesthetic from the car, Hayden could actually be in the parking garage of the law firm. And he's torn up because of the fact that Andy most likely helped Marie via Maurice's information about Roger in order to, you know, settle with her ex-husband and he gets nothing. And remember, Hayden was the one tooting his own horn saying, no, 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 uh, Miss Marie, me and my team, we will be sure to find this 100% guaranteed uh, evidence in order to prove your ex-husband or soon to be ex-husband is guilty of infidelity meaning he gets booted from the marriage with not a penny so in the promo marie's like time's up is my fortune saved or not hayden has nothing and he's going to swoop in thanks to maurice's info and then just that's going to be it i mean hayden he, lo he loses because I do believe that one of the partners talks with Andy about how, uh, yeah, this firm has been through a lot this past year. And Andy's like, yeah, um, it has. And that's probably when she gets the um, information about how, well, um, Marie Willis has let us know about your incredible contribution to the case and the fact that you were able to not only secure her fortune, but create a major windfall for this law firm. And with that, you are now in massive consideration for the new partner position. Uh, we'll keep in touch with you soon. I don't know if that's exactly how the conversation is going to go, but given the fact that the partner is meeting with Andy instead of Andy and Hayden or just Hayden, it's safe to say that Andy's about to get the new position with her name on the side of the building. Now, that leads to the whole thing where Marie talks to Andy, but we're not talking about that. I've already done that a number of times. We're focusing on Hayden. Now, I don't think Hayden loses his job. That's not it at all, but it's just the fact that this was his ticket to win. And even though he slept with his client on more than one occasion or had sex with her not, rather than slept and he got found out by his girlfriend slash wife Tamara, all of that was for nothing because he failed. And now he's going to be extremely pissed off and reasonably so. I mean, if you're up for a promotion or something like that and you lose um, to someone who wasn't putting in the work work it, it, it does hurt and don't get me wrong you know like i said before yeah you know it's messed up hayden sleeping with marie but at the same time if and i'm not ignoring what he did but if you look past that hayden put in a lot more work into this case than andy did andy just got very very lucky that maurice talk to her about the case because remember how Andy was, Hey, Hey Maurice. And to be for once, it wasn't like Andy being extremely bougie or uppity towards the likes of Pam and Maurice, but you know, from a legal perspective, Hey, hey you know, I can't discuss the case with my, of my client with individuals. So I can't talk to you about it, but thankfully Maurice was <laughs> doing too much. But in, um, in this particular situation, it worked to Andy's benefit. So, yeah, the circumstances kind of fell into her lap. It did. Versus Hayden, who was trying to, you know, flip every single rock over every, hey, telling the scene, like, leave no stone unturned. But you got to admit, even though from a standpoint of one person putting in a lot of effort versus something coming, everything coming easy for another person, had Hayden not shot, uh, shot off at the mouth, at the mouth and tried to big himself up, while putting Andy down, things could have turned out different. If they had worked together, they could have both definitely shined through. And and that also brings up an interesting question. Had these two been working together from the jump, you could argue that Hayden would have gotten the promotion or at the very least um, higher praise from Marie because of the fact that he was present <laughs> again i want to reference the new edition story because i watched it again uh, a few days ago like ralph talking about like look i'm at every band i'm at every rehearsal i'm in the studio every day i'm i don't miss an interview and all the other guys they're at the club or whatever and yet you know when it comes to payday i feel like a solo artist but then i look at the paycheck and i remind i'm in a group again 
that's how it is with Hayden and Andy. It's like, you know, Hayden's always there, even for, you know, surprise meetings. Andy's always late, never answering her phone because she's running around with the whole Gary and Penelope thing or going to this baby shower and this. It does. It's not fair, but that's the way it is. That's the way it is in real life. So I think Hayden goes to the, um, you know, his car and breaks down. But I think he says like, you know, lying MFers and whatnot. So I feel like that's in reference to Tamara because keep in mind, he does go home. He's looking disheveled and he has a bad attitude because he lost the case. Well, he didn't get the promotion and he did. And then from there, Tamara is going to antagonize him leading to the, you know, the scuffle over the phone. He's going to be pissed and then possibly storm out of the house. So maybe he calls Gary, who knows? And I don't know. It's just one of those things where it could be either or. I think I'm more inclined to say that he's in the car crying about the Gary and Tamara affair versus the promotion, but that's just me. So, and also he doesn't look like he had been crying when he's at home with Tamara. He's like, you know, he looks like he just had a long ass day. So that's about it. Um, yeah, well, that's really all I have. But so, oh yeah, also going back to the point I said about if they had worked together, what would have happened? Well, keep in mind, even though Hayden put in more work, Andy was the one to find out about the $75 million in NFTs. And now thanks to Maurice, she has the solid evidence showing the infidelity. So yeah, Hayden, yeah, he, he lost. It sucks, but he lost. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Why is Hayden crying in the car? Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.